Hi, this is Chris from the Stephanie Miller Show. Please enjoy this exclusive clip from Political Voices Network. Have you noticed it's quite possible that Glenn Kirshner is hanging around with us sexy liberals too much? Probably. He is like Glenn Shecky Kirshner now. Mm-hmm. He tweeted, so Peter Green Bay Sweep, Navarro is in prison. Steve, uh, three shirts to the wind, Bannon. Yep. That's funny. Three shirts to the wind, yeah. <laughs> Reports to prison on 7-1 and Donald Day 1 dictator will be sentenced to prison, in my opinion, on 7-11. Could accountability be trending? Let's get our justice on with the Stephanie Miller Show. Coming up. In just also, a Alex Jones is having to liquidate. Yes. Did you see that? Oh, my God. Everything must go. Yeah. He, was, he, was, oh, he was crying. He was crying. He was, he was crying cr- very much. He so. cries a lot. <laughs> I almost got the audio, cries. but it was just you couldn't understand them. The Bankruptcy little, stepped on my tail. <laughs> the little snowflake cries all the time. He's There's a big not, whiny. not out of the ordinary. Mm-hmm. He's whiny. Why are they such whiny, cryy, bitchy little snowflakes? I, I don't understand. He cries more than you do. Right? Cried like I did yesterday after the incident. Oh. No. Oh, were well, you going to bring us all down now? No. It's Friday. No. She just took the yay out of fry yay. I know. That was just fry like day. She's like a Disney princess. She's like the kindest, gentlest soul, as everyone knows. And, the, you know, she's the one that takes the centipedes and stuff outside. Right. Which so they can good. crawl back in again. Yes. And terrorize you again. And spiders. Uh-huh. Yeah. She's just like, okay. But yesterday there was... There was an incident, and it was very sad, and I weeped more than Alex Jones ever You accidentally does. ran over a baby raccoon with your car. Yes. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I'm sorry. All right, well, but the mother? The mother took care of her. The mother took care of the baby. Okay. You know what? I'm I, sorry. I feel like <laughs> it, there are many signs that it could be the end of the world. As we know it, we don't have to worry about Election Day or anything else. Everything that we joke about on this show eventually happens. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What happened now? I thought this only happened in the 70s. Woman sinks in quicksand. <laughs> in in a split, In a split second on a main beach in, in a, a rare natural forum. Usually it's phenomenon. a slow sink. She sunk no, in a split second? it is not the 70s. It is not a 70s movie. And somebody, can the tarantulas be far behind? Is someone in the Bermuda Triangle right now? You Just know, saying. The writers for the $6 million man and the bionic woman used this, the quicksand trope a lot. Yes, they did. They really did. Yes. Yeah. Okay, well, now it's happened. It could happen, as our friend Judy used to say, and now it has happened. Mm-hmm. So quicksand is oh, fast. Oh, also, how many, okay, you can stop sending me the story. We already oh. have it for Frangela. Dear God, oh, hang the on. The spider story? Yes! Yeah. I mean, I, between that and the quicksand story, maybe it's... Uh, yes, the northeast U.S. is bracing for an invasion of giant venomous spiders with half-inch long legs that can parachute through the air. Mm-hmm. I don't... Do you feel like we've heard that story before? Do uh-huh. they keep... That, that, but parachuting it, spiders. But then, yeah. it, but then it doesn't happen. But weren't they in Australia before and now they're here? I don't know. Well, everything in Australia Someone, tries to kill you. Right, yes. right. It's I. My friend Wanda lives there, and right. I, every time she sends me pictures, I'm like, it, "You're like live in Jumanji." Yeah, <laughs> and she was like, "Yes." So I'm like, "What the actual is that thing you just took a picture of?" Even the koalas will scratch your eyes out. Oh, koalas yeah. are not nice. No. Yeah, she's done like video and footage smell. and just the sounds like right from her house. I was like, "What the?" I would never leave the house. <laughs> Australia's like, "What is that? What is that sound?" It's you a it's a kookaburra. Yeah, I'm like Wayne Knight in uh, Jurassic Park. I'm like, what's this out here? No! And then, <laughs> and then he dies. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Venom gets spit in your face. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Something spits venom in your face. That's what happens there. Speaking of Donald Trump, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. see what I did there? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I don't. Oh, oh, and this, by the way, I'm sorry. Hang on. Hold, please. Uh, Dr. Uh, Eric. Uh, Ding is a, who we've been following for a long time. Great. There's a new large COVID wave hitting ERs in Hawaii right now, yeah. but there's barely any news coverage. It's also hitting the West Coast, California especially. Whee! And uh, beginning to spread in certain East Coast cities too. Uh, it's likely the new KP2 variant. Yay! Yay! Giant spiders, quicksand, and a new COVID wave. Well, <laughs> Guess I'll have to mask up at that event. <laughs> Okay. And Bob tweets, maybe it's just me, but the guy frothing at the mouth about retribution, uh, still possibly sitting on stolen files, doesn't seem ideal. He seems like a less than ideal. Can I, can I just say, I, I'm going to lose a few pounds, Jody, which is good news. Because just if I have to see that video by accident anymore of him oh, foaming I... at the mouth. Oh, it's like if you thought Donald Trump could not get more disgusting, him, like there's, what is it? It's really, it's not just spit. It's like white foam is coming out of the, and like Bob Seska said, they used that take. It was his video. Yeah. Like they're like, yeah, that's fine. 
That looks good. That was the best take. <laughs> Imagine what the bad ones were. Okay, back in the shed, old yeller. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, I, I think we mentioned that uh, happy uh, Steve Bannon's going to prison day, everyone. Yeah. Hey. Well, that's in July. July 1st. Yeah. What is it? We'll talk to Frangela. Uh, yeah. Do white people get to schedule, what is it, around his Manny petties, which he obviously doesn't get? What? When is it just when it's convenient? Why Why not now? I know. I don't know. How, is Ask July Glenn. 1st, is that before you begin summering? Is that okay for you? Glenn will know. Okay. Pardon me? Glenn will know. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Uh... By delaying his turn in so long, Ronald writes, uh, he will now be in prison during the lead up to the election. Ha, ha, effing ha. That's what they're trying to say. Oh, they're trying to take that Steve Bannon out during the election. Really? This has been delayed two years because of him. Mm-hmm. He's going to prison he now. He could have been out already. Because they all think they're going to get away with it. He could, have been, he could have served his time and been out yes. by now. Oh, my God. They're just, they count on the rest of us not knowing anything. Oh, I have uh, corrections. Uh-oh. You know, corrections and complaints. Oh, I have a hate letter, too. Oh, good. Which is always fun. It's about me? Usually no. it's about me. Oh, no, no. It's largely always about me. Okay. All right. Oh, for instance, I didn't uh, push back quickly enough yesterday, uh, when Malcolm Nance said uh, "There's the FBI is worried about terrorism on both sides because of the pro-Hamas things. And the, and I waited until he finished, and then I said the FBI would say, though, the vast majority are right-wing, as he wrote an entire book about. Right. So he right. was not... But someone said I did not. Yeah, that took too long for you to push right. back on that. And I, but then the re, then somebody else will say I interrupt. My, I never let my guests speak. So I let Malcolm Nance speak just seconds too long. But that was bad. Your timing is just off. Yeah, That's it is. what that is. That's what it is. And also, I sometimes get things wrong. Okay, at least I correct myself, okay? Jesus. I correct myself. Lots of people when I'm wrong. fall for stuff like I. Okay, the black lady that's not his probation officer, but it could be. It could happen. I don't, it, I'm just saying I don't know who is probation officer that particular one, and I corrected it. I misspoke again yesterday. Okay, Bob said, Steph, Jody, and Chris, you've saved my sanity for two decades. Well, there's that. Okay. Well, there you go. It, with however, my, with my fact however. free <laughs> interrupting, not interrupting soon enough. Here. Style. Here comes the big butt. But I don't have a real story of randomly running into Steph heads, but I thought the subject line would get your attention. <laughs> mm-hmm. You're right. I wanted to clarify a cover, uh, comment on Governor Jackass, uh, a Texas pardon that was made on the show yesterday. The guy didn't kill a black protester. He killed a white guy who was pushing his right. black partner's wheelchair. Uh, I, meant, I meant to say a Black Lives Matter protester. Right. I didn't. Right. Okay, the pardon message was worse than it appears. The governor was saying killing uh, blacks isn't where we stop. We even kill whites who stand up for blacks. The Jim Crow South lives on. Uh, Love you all. Keep up the fight because the fight continues. Uh, Thank you, Bob. Yes, I was going to correct that. I misspoke. It was a black body's matter protester. Okay. Um, Would you you like to move on to Mark? Oh, the hate letter? Oh, there's a hate letter. Oh, cool. I would read more. I, I don't get as many as I would like. If you could step up your game. Because they're funnier than the love oh letters. Oh, boy. Now you've asked for it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I would read more. You know my self-esteem. If sure. I got more, I'd... Okay. Uh, Robert, the subject line is convicted felon. Question? With two question marks. It's criminal. Um, let me just correct your punctuation first, Robert. Convicted felon, period. That's not a fact we can argue about. Right. He is a, con- in fact... He's convicted. A convicted felon. Okay. He has yet to be sentenced. I just love that we all know who we're talking about, even though we don't. Yeah, Yeah, he has yet to be sentenced, but he is convicted. Uh Uh-oh, Chris. How does this end for us? So I accidentally tuned into your show. Never ends well. Never Never ends well. well. Never ends well. How do people accidentally tune into a show? We are right next to SiriusXM Patriot. Oh, we are. Uh, Our show has stumbled across more than many other shows. Yeah. Weird to me. That's how people do it. It, It's kind of easy on SiriusXM. More people have stubbed their toe on this show than any other radio show. Yeah. And uh, what a super, all uh, in caps, place for Trump haters to calm their TDS. Trump how, derange, yeah. Yeah, t- Trump derangements. Yeah, and, all right, yes, you're welcome. Thank you. Uh, how many times you had to mention Trump's a convicted felon? Oh, not because nearly he enough, Robert. Is. He's a criminal. Wait, you hear how many times today we say convicted felon just in the first hour with Ben Kirshner. Hey, Steph, Jesus Christ suffered two, two trials and was also a convicted felon. Oh, God. Did that make him a bad person? Oh, Lordy. 
Oh, man. It's another Trump oh. is uh, oh. Jesus oh. Oh, scenario. Man. Oh, didn't someone... Uh, Oh, somebody wanted from what some Trumpy compared him to the uh, soldiers that died at uh, Normandy because he's you know exactly right. the same uh, in terms yeah. of personal right. sacrifice. And that's what he's going through now because I don't know. Uh, you guys are stuck to the max with hate. No, no actually, this no. is my love Trump's hate. This T-shirt I'm wearing. Uh, Bob is the subject of our show. Uh, are you Soros funded or what? <laughs> Only. We How tried. Many times must only. I answer this question? I, have, I am the only liberal show that has asked him directly. Can I please have some money? To which he said, "No, no, no you may not." Didn't you ask Tom Steyer as well? You did. Tom, yes, you did. You absolutely and did. He said no. no. <laughs> Another resounding no. After current went off and we had to buy our own equipment for Free Speech TV, I asked Al Gore, "What'd he say?" No, no, absolutely not a penny. And he sold it to the uh, oil Oops, oil interests anyway. <laughs> Not that we're bitter about that or anything. It's fun drive time for yeah. Free Speech TV. If you'd like to give a big middle finger to, to all noted the, in, the yeah. wealthy billionaires that will not give yeah. money to progressive programming. To noted environmentalist Al Gore, who sold his network to the oil companies. I, I forget. Who was the number one show on that network? The uh, Stephanie Miller show. Oh, I think that's it was right. called Talking Liberally at the yes, time. Yes, I believe it was. Oh, I, I yes. still have some hats. Oh, I do too. I have, have, yeah. I have hats in the I'm garage. If anyone needs a, a hat, look, my earrings are falling off. I'm... Okay, hang on. Is I'm your not done wet. So that was a little bit of a sore subject, Bob. Are my Soros funded? Don't I wish, boy howdy. <laughs> also, DNC shill, because I've never gotten a dime from the DNC. No, God, either, no. So... They, they won't spend money on this program. No, are you kidding me. Your whole show is nothing more than, a, than hate filled. "Quote unquote opinion." Well, yes, it is yes. an opinion show. It is. Right. It is the you know show, and I, this, my opinion is what they, they pay, pay you pay me for. Not yes, what, what George Soros pays me for. <laughs> and of course, the DNC. I'm kidding. Okay, uh, my opinion. Oh, he's his opinion. Okay. Oh, then. where's the where's the Bob show? Where might we listen to the Bob show on my fillings? My opinion. Wow, <laughs> there's some bitterness. You know, by yeah. Friday, I'm still yeah. bitter really, since the third grade. I really grade. had it. I have been bitter since the third grade. <laughs> Thank you. My opinion. By the time I got to the fifth grade, I was very bitter. Very, very bitter. A bitter, bitter person. Yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, we need new equipment. We need a TriCaster. Oh, yes, we George do. George Soros. Just make the check out. Okay, uh... <laughs> My opinion is that the corrupt deep state desires to imprison Trump so they can again stage an Epstein-style murder. Why? He's not in your corrupt club. Donald Trump is not in our corrupt. But he's in Bob's he corrupt club. Can't, yeah, well, guess so. Can't be bought. He can't be bought. <laughs> Trump can't be bought? Right, 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 Chris, right. When did this start? Uh, when did that, yeah, exactly. And can't be silenced. Don't oh. you just hate that? I know he can't be silenced because he won't shut up. He won't right. ever shut the... Bob, much like you, this letter, will it ever end? Uh, well, keep the Trump hate spewing feed to your TDS Trump hating aud audience, Robert. Okay. Oh, am I... You well, went long I didn't with go that. too long. Robert did. You went long with that. All right, whatever. You are invited to Stephanie Miller's Sexy Liberal Save the World Tour. It's the political comedy event of the year, and it's coming to a city near you. Join Stephanie Miller, the queen of progressive talk radio, along with Hal Sparks, John Fugelsang, and the comedy duo Frangela, mocking all the fascists and trolls for a tour that is hilarious, inspiring, and deeply offensive to just the right people. It's an all-new tour with all-new guests and a side-splitting evening of stand-up. Stephanie Miller's Sexy Liberal Save the World Tour. 